What a hot day, YouTube! Today I'm gonna show you how to fix air conditioner of your car. As you can see here, my air conditioner doesn't blow very cold. We're gonna need to add more freon gas of the system. You can easily find this kind of canned freon gas in grocery, but I don't want to recommend to use this one. Instead, I highly recommend to use full-scale low and high pressure gauge. I'm gonna show you why it is later soon. Okay, let's try to fill the freon gas using this tool. Make sure both low side and high side is closed. Open the plastic cap of the lower side. It's located in front of the exhaust. The location might be different depending on the car you have. Connect the blue hose to the lower side of the bulb. Now move to the high side. Remove the bulb cap and connect the red hose to the high side of your system. Now you can open low side by rotating clockwise. Do the same thing for the high side by rotating clockwise. And connect the yellow hose to the refrigerant can. And open it up. And turn on the air conditioner at lowest temperature. You may set up the flow rate at the maximum. And you may want to bend a little bit in order to remove all the airs in the hose. You can fill the freon gas by opening the lower side and close it again. You can also make sure there are freon gas coming in through the window. From time to time I recommend to shake the can of the refrigerant to make sure all the freon gas coming in. The outside temperature was about 90 degrees at this time. From the pressure gauge, you can see lower side was less than 40 and high side was higher than 250. If you check in the Google the recommended pressure of the lower side and high side, depending on the what kind of ambient temperature was. So in the case of 90 degree, the lower side is supposed to be between 50 to 55, which was not in my case because my case was less than 40. But in the case of high side, my case is just in the range in between 250 to 275 PSI. So this is exactly why we should not use the one side, especially for the lower side air conditioning pressure gauge. In other words, if I only monitor the lower side of pressure, then I will probably notice that my lower side was less than 40, so I was thinking of my refrigerant was not sufficient eventually lead me to overfill the system. If you overfill the system, your air conditioner will not be cool enough. For the safety, your compressor will be turned off, which means you don't get cold air. So I stopped adding freon gas and just leave it like this. Once done, close the knob for the freon gas can and close the lower side and high side coupler. Now you can take off the coupler of lower side as well as high side. For the high side, just a little bit. The refrigerant might be a pop up so don't freak out. And unplug the yellow wire from the refrigerant can. Open the two valves on pressure gauge to release the freon gas inside the hose. Don't forget to close the cap for lower side as well as high side bulb. And you can check the ventilation temperature. It's way below than 50 Fahrenheit, which is pretty good. It's cool, so nice. Enjoy the mini.